Uh, right. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> Hi. What on earth is game sense? Oh, who cares? <laughs> is the music a little quiet compared to my voice, or is it just like just right? I think it's just right. All right, cool. Cause I still have no idea why crosscode is so freaking loud. To you like, specifically. It just decides to annihilate me every time. It's not that loud to me. Congratulations. Yeah, I think I'm going to turn that up because I think I should actually. There we go. Is that too loud or is that still fine? Um. Ali Ali Oxen. That's. That's probably fine. Alright. Yeah. You know what? If it's too loud, uh, I have no way of telling. Chat, tell me. Please. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, just to catch everyone up, I've done a little bit of side questing. Oh, sorry, that's all of them. This is all the solved ones. Jesus. Yeah. This is practically... This is practically every side quest you can do before this point. The only ex so the ones we have left are Meeting the Expectations, which is the sequel to Mystique's first quest, which requires stuff from the Desert Zone. Kidding Around, which I'm gonna be honest, I just haven't bothered to do. Building a base requires me to go into the mine. And I think I need fire type to get the data probe, so eh. So, Ash, it's up to you. Do you want to go into the mine first, or do you want to do the Cave of Aspiration? You're the one playing. Right. Let's do some build-up, then. If I can remember where the frick the cave is. Yeah, this is like This is the side quest I saved specifically for the stream, because I figure it's gonna be embarrassing for me. <laughs> Basically... Don't fall down. Ah. Uh. There's a lot of knockback on these turrets, by the way. <laughs> Alright, checkpoint one. This is stressful, okay? A little bit, yeah. Ooh. Don't like that. Okay, now you're just being mean game. <laughs> The devs are laughing at you. Cave of Aspiration. Oh god. Welcome to the hell pit. We are going to beat you to death. <laughs> right. That was the Cave of Aspiration done. Yeah, there is a sequel to this one, but you need fire elements to even start it, so... Hmm... Alright. Yeah, I've never actually finished this quest chain. Because the next one's freaking ice physics. Oh, good! Yeah, technically, you can actually get an equipment piece that turns off ice physics, so that's probably what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I 
You know, theoretically, we could have been reading this stuff, but like, whatever. Goodbye. Thank you for the beaks. And love, love. We're now level 20. Good. Let's see. Do we? No, we don't have enough circuit points. You! Let's see, yeah, we've beaten the first child, so now we have bonus challenges. Uh, oh god. How the fuck are you supposed to do that with no shield? Very skillfully. <laughs> Babe. Like, I feel like I could do two minutes, but like, no guarding? Ugh, no. Perish. Simply die. Steady as a rock. That means I'd have to basically just mantle around that tiny square to dodge all the shots. Uh-huh. Which, uh, no. No. <laughs> oh, hey, the secret hub. I... Haven't seen Bergen Diggin Mates HQ yet. <laughs> Isn't this a fun one? Right, I think we need to come here anyway to see the mayor for a dispensation. Dear Seekers, welcome to Bergen. As the mayor of this town, it always honors me to see so many visitors arriving day after day. Of course, that's because this town's mine has become a part of the Ancient's track. Now, since some of you look rather confused, allow me to quickly explain. I don't actually have an old man voice, somehow. <laughs> the best I can do is slightly breathy Pegasus, which might just be day drunk Keaton EG again. Oh god! Or possibly Day Jump Queen Taniji. Still my favorite pun out of, the out of our Delta Room thing. God. It all happened several years ago. Bergen was founded due to the mining activities in this area. After some time, we discovered the Temple of the Ancients hidden inside the mountain right at our mining location. At the time, we saw it merely as an obstacle. So we continued our mining endeavor, destroying the oh, temple in the process. Unfortunately, colonialism doesn't work when we're on a fucking precursor planet. Because you see, the temple fucking punched us in the face. And we had to give up the mine because it kept giving out the worst vibes and also monsters. And because the temple took the track, it did a reverse colonialism and fucking conquered our mine. <laughs> And now you have to do the whole last dungeon for us. Goodbye. <laughs> of course, of course, we definitely support Project Trackwalker and give you access to the mine. It's definitely not because this is our only source of income off that mine now. Definitely not. However, if you do manage to destroy all the giant monsters in there, we'd love to get some money out of it. So please, get... So please, get our guns and fucking illicit emails out of there. <laughs> if you get that for us, we'll give you five bucks. Alright, you can all go into the mine now. Don't die. Good luck. We, we, the greed of humankind. No respect for the ancient holy grounds, yada yada. Certainly heard that one before. Huh. Can't wait to find out yep. that France is just gone. <laughs> Alternate universe France eviscerated. Yeah. That's a fun conversation off the left. Yeah, they're having fun. <laughs> Alright, let's see. You heard the speech, so here we have some tools, and we've also got... Yeah, get seven pickaxes, 
5 TNT, 3 mining docks, and we'll give you a fucking skill point. Congrats! Honestly, I forgot that this one gave skill points. I honestly only remember the two, like, game-long side chains. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, detectors. One of them lets it slot chests, which is important considering on the world map, it literally tracks how many chests you've opened. That's fun. Yeah. Of course, for some areas, we need keys from the dungeons in order to open those chests, like... That bronze chest from earlier can't open until we do this dungeon. Of course, we only get the mine detector right now, which is only for the mine. <laughs> so now... I probably should have read that tutorial, actually. Whoops. <laughs> Your hubris. No, no, found it. Yeah. Oops. Oh, it's a D-Link request by Lucas. Oh, fuck, I voice this guy. Hang on. Yes, you're the Swedish <laughs> one. I think he's Swedish. Ol <laughs> Olero, you two? Bonjour, Monsieur Dark Lord. Oh, I see you're in a party right now? This is perfect! I'm here to cordially invite you to the headquarters of the First Scholars! First what? The First Scholars! That's my guild! I told the Chief about you two and she said we could use a couple new members. Really? Are you saying we can already join the guild? Yep. At least never heard of any rule against it. Trop genial! <laughs> <laughs> Babe, what got you? I don't know, just French. <laughs> yeah! My fucking one and a half French classes are really doing this. Of course, the folks would like to meet you first. So, if you're not busy right now, why don't you quickly drop by? Absolutely! You should totally go, Leia. Great, let's meet in Autumn's Rise at the Old Obelisk. That's a landmark. You two can just quickly teleport there, remember? Player looks directly into camera. Bien sûr. Alright, until then! A guild, Leia! We'll join a guild, isn't that awesome? Come on, we better not let the Dark Lord wait for too long. A guild, hmm? Hmm. You will meet a lot of players. I have to admit, I am a bit concerned. You must remember that we must- You remember that we must keep your amnesia a secret, right? Well, I suppose you cannot tell anybody about it anyway, correct? In that regard, your speed malfunction turns out to be quite Thanks, useful. Sergey. <laughs> So as they say, just go for it. Bye. Yeah. Come on, Leia. All right. Real quick, real quick. I'm doing an audio check because I'm actually worried now. Oh no. Ah, yeah, we're fine. That's like a reasonable amount of volume. For reasonable people <laughs> in a reasonable universe. Alright, old obelisk. Wouldn't it be fast? Oh, wait, no, that is path. Okay. I forgot which northern exit was which. Bonjour, Lucas! There you are! Thanks for dropping by! Let's just go straight to the headquarters. It's to the northeast. Just follow me. So how big is your guild, anyway? Not big. You're about to see it yourself. The entrance is over there to the north. Here we are! 
Now, this is the entrance to a small and humble guild area. You'll need a pass to enter, so here you- here you go. This item gives you access to our headquarters as well. Now then, let's go! Ah, uh, I do love how you have to actually watch the whole thing in order to, you know, go through. Quite funny. It's cute. Yeah, let's see, what else is around here? We have this, which doesn't exist. <laughs> Don't even think about it, buddy. Yeah, I did pull out the entire botanical guide, so, like, no reason to be up here, but hey. Last minute heroes, what have we got? Very fancy, very fancy. <laughs> That's a weird way to do introductions. <laughs> oh. Alright then. So let's see, we've got a quadra guard, a hex caster, Oops, the fucketh? <laughs> I guess that's a tri-blader. But who's this? Another one. No, that's a tri-blader. Yeah, balance gear, no regularities. Blah, 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 blah. No, this is a hexacast, despite wielder of the spell casting katana. Good for them. What a nerd. <laughs> Okay, so this is also a hexacast, the self-proclaimed coding wizard. The oh god. The scientist from Metopia. <laughs> right. And welcome to Motherfucker Unlimited here, Shieldrick. <laughs> Master of Shields. Yeah. I do hope that. I'm gonna be honest, I kinda don't remember this area, like, at all. <laughs> Let's see, Tribladers, Quadrigards, Pentafist, Hexacast, and Spheromancers. What do we got? This has to be, like, a backer area, right? Oh, definitely. You never see names like this without it being a backer area. Yeah. Ah yes, Luigi Mario. <laughs> Shout out to Luigi Mario. Alright, well that's all the cool people. Let's see the monks. Orange farm horse. Alright, there's no point checking out all of these, but hey, kinda neat that this exists, huh? Yeah. Yeah, like that. Like, okay, some of the things I say are new definitely aren't new. That has to be new, because I feel like I'd remember it somehow, you know? <laughs> Wait, hang on, I'm eating soup. <laughs> Here we are, the headquarters of the first scholars. Ah, it's a cute little house. Told you you were a small guild, right? Well then, ladies first! Merci beaucoup. That one I know how to say. Merci, Goku. <laughs> oh god, this guy. Oh, fuck. Uh... Fuck, I guess I'll take him because you are currently eating. I'm currently enjoying soup. I'm really trying to think of a voice, though. Ah! <laughs> the newbies have arrived. This fellow here is Buggy. Bonjour, Emily. Leah. Nice to meet you, too. Lucas, Lucas. Bring in the girls as usual, huh? Yeah! <laughs> apparently! Yeah. Apparently, this is Papyrus! Sure. Whatever. 
The others are waiting upstairs. I'm not doing a papyrus voice. Perish. <laughs> Lynn, the newbies are here. Uh, if I'm taking that, should I... you should take her because I'm gonna have to take because I'm gonna take that hexacast too. Okay. Now, now, Raphael, don't call them newbies. It's rude. Come on, Cheek. You know I'm joking. My, look at you two. Welcome to our humble headquarters. My nickname's Lynn, but you can call me Linda or just Lynn. And this is Albert. <laughs> Shit. Wesker. Albert Wesker. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour, I am Emily. Hi, Leah. A pentafist and a spheromancer. Oh, how wonderful. If you two joined our guild, we'd have members of all five classes. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go somewhere comfortable. Someday I want a character to say that and then just sit on the floor. <laughs> Such a cozy little house. Nothing like I had imagined it. Thank you so much. Like the house I always wanted to own. Now, of course, it's not the fortress that many people expect. But really, the few of us wouldn't know what to do with all the space, eh? Yeah. Also, it's not like we could afford the castle of our dreams. Yes, yes. So, there are just four members right now? Not quite, dear. Someone else joined us not too long ago, but he isn't around at the moment. So that makes five members in total. And you two just started playing, right? We, we just reached Bergen. We're about to enter the mine. Oh, wonderful. The first real dungeon. It's always something special. It's the first time you'll be entering a heritage site of the ancients. Oh? What is that? Why, it's what we seekers are looking for. We try to solve the secret of the ancients, eh? Each heritage site includes a few pieces of the big puzzle. Wee oui, wee, oui, the plot. That's right, dear. Did you know that the full secret of the Ancients has yet to be discovered? Really? I'm definitely playing this MMO for the plot. <laughs> oh yes, they're so crafty about it. The official path of the game will only tell you so much. They keep releasing new quests that will reward you with more information. But the puzzle has yet to be completed. And yes, that is what our guild is all about. We are... We are the first scholars and we study the ancients! We want to be the first to unravel the secret! Ah, I see. Perhaps I should have taken the guild leader, but fuck, sure. <laughs> She's talking a fucking lot! And now you understand why our guild is so small. <laughs> My laugh Cat is- Catboy energy. <laughs> Catboy energy with like the bird haircut. <laughs> I know what I said. Hush, Raphael! Well, I think it's nice to be in a small guild like this. There is just too much stress and responsibility with the big ones. I think it's nice, right, Leia? I somehow managed to take over the least talkative characters in this room. Finally! My power! <laughs> Yeah, my dear, you've been so quiet all the time. Is something the matter? Oh, she's just shy. Anyway, I'd be glad to join. You too, Leo? So, where do we sign? Now, now, we have a small tradition here for new members. A quiz! A quiz? Oh, don't worry. It's very simple. We want to test your knowledge of the ancients. Emily's not impressed. <laughs> Emily did not come here to do quizzes. 
But for that, I'm afraid you first need to complete the Temple Mine in Bergen. Just make sure to read everything at the Heritage Site, and you should be well prepared. That cool. Sounds good to me. Come on, Leia. Let's go. Let's do the dungeon. Hell yeah. That's the spirit. It was a pleasure to meet you two. Feel free to drop by whenever you like. Oh, and I suppose now is a good time to share contacts, too. Contacts shared with first scholar members. Alrighty. Tell me when you're ready for the quiz. Right. No, I don't need to know how to make phone calls. One of these guys is called fucking Beowulf. Shout out to Beowulf! <laughs> this dude's Beowulf. Good day, you two. Pardon, your name was Albert, no? That is correct. Um, may I ask what your class is? I have a random bystander. <laughs> ah, that is the mage class, no? The most innocuous of all bystanders. <laughs> you don't exactly look like a random passerby, though. That's fine, I get that a lot. Uh, is that so? Well then, good luck with the temple mine. Thanks! Uh, this guy's kinda hard to talk to, no? Simply perish. Oh, he can hear you! Simply perish. Also, yeah, talking about random stuff you can find, that's absolutely, definitely, completely fair. That's absolutely, definitely, completely normal, we promise. <laughs> oh, no, it's in general. Strange logs. A collection of log entries of unknown origin that have found their way into cross worlds. These are definitely weird ones, because if they're in-universe, these are like precursor logs about the discovery of the track. But honestly, I can't remember what these logs come to, because like, I think it kind of get them out of order anyway. <laughs> Oh well, so now that we've done all that, we can now go to Bergen Village. As soon as I find the mine as soon as I find the miner's base. Gee, I wonder if it's house one somehow. <laughs> it's such a mystery, huh babe? <laughs> no, this is house one. No, I guess it's this <laughs> built. I guess it's this building that, that house exist. sure can won. <laughs> exactly, babe. Why do you think it's the most intimidating? <laughs> ah. Okay, we gotta come around from the other end. Gee, no wonder I missed that one. <laughs> Oh, right, because you gotta do some weird fucking shit to get to this one. Aww. Like, I think the best way to do it is just to come from above. As in, up here. Yeah, probably. Theoretically, of course. Nope. Alright, got it. Congrats! This oh, was, fuck yeah! This was not the correct place, but hey. I found the guy! <laughs> Leia. The guy, he's capable of being the guy. Hi! You gave me quite the scare. Again. No, don't worry. I didn't mean it like that. I was absorbed in thought anyway. I was trying to figure out the strongest soups I could make. <laughs> it's... About another item I'm searching for. I thought exploring here might give me a new lead. But at my age, you don't always have the time to look everywhere. Now, young lady, you're already here, right? So how about you help me find something again? The choice is yours this time. Nothing to redeem yourself from. <laughs> I am the true mansplain of this game. <laughs> 
Yeah, find the broken shield in Burger Trail. That's definitely a mini boss, so hey, we'll do that after we get fire. Ah, and they say kids these days only think about themselves. Let us get right to it then. What I need is the broken shield. I've been wandering this village for hours now, but the only clue I found is an abstract location. The phrase was something like, where waterfalls steep and mountains are high, a secret path shall lie. Yes, yes, very ominous. I'm pretty sure the text speaks of Bergen Trail. But somewhere in Bergen Trail, it's a secret path or whatever. I want you to go out for me and find it. If you do, I'm sure the shield is close. Just like when you got me the broken gauntlet from Sun the Hedge. Well, Just like when you executed Sonic the Hedgehog. God, I wish I remembered enough of Sonic Destruction to actually make a reference, but I can't. I have watched Sonic Destruction, like, actually six times by now. Yeah, like, just by the very nature of how it was made, it's kind of incomprehensible. Exactly, and I fucking love it. And don't keep an old man waiting. I'm not sure how much time I have left. Don't worry, I'm fine. Go now. <laughs> I'm fine, I promise. Is this quest gonna end with him dying? Uh, no, actually. He's just, re he's just really sketchy about how he says stuff. <laughs> like, I guess it has to be this building here? Because I'm really not seeing... Perhaps it's one of these directions. Perhaps. Maybe... How funny would it be if... Oh, you can just walk through there. Okay. <laughs> You did a whole parkour challenge, and you could have just walked. I mean, in my defense... A normal bridge. <laughs> my normal bridge, you could have a laser bridge. He's asking the real hard-hitting questions. Right, we need the blue eye shade, because this is the progression point. Right, I'm assuming the Miner's Guild is actually up here, which I didn't do- which I never came this direction specifically because. Also, yeah, this is the lady, but we need to melt her off her icicle first. <laughs> She's having fun. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Shout Hi! Shout out to McKedith, Phil. A visitor fresh from outside, huh? No need to reply, I feel the sun's warmth still on me, child. Bye! <laughs> ah, that look on your face. The name's Terrace McEdith, though. Chief Miner of the Bergen Diggin' Mates. Welcome to our humble headquarters. Don't you worry, the icy mine might have cooled our manners, but we don't feast on the warm blood of the living just yet. Unless... <laughs> We merely feast on the cooling blood of the recently dead. Still, the minds have become rather possessive and demand our full attention these days. Maybe we shouldn't have tried to knock down an ancient temple full of alien technology. Who'd have thunk it? Some strong hands that can help clean up a mess on the surface would be most welcome. There's been an incursion of some thrice stunned hopping furballs in one of our still active mining areas. Those pesky things got contaminated by the ores and machinery inside. Now they run wild, Bergen Trail. What's worse, for some damn reason, the filthy fur made them angry as drunk bovines and almost impossible to kill. Oh god, these guys. Just my thoughts. <laughs> Care to help us get rid of that mess before we get the blame for whatever shins they kick? Go to Rising Path 2 and look for dirty problems. Well, that's not so bad. Weaken them with four spaths and defeat them. <laughs> Finally, some good news. I better ha- Now. Bathe them. <laughs> Just knock them into water. That doesn't seem so bad, but like, that's a lot of experience, all things considered. Maybe Consid because this one's a little involved? Yeah, like, genuinely, you know how those snowmen were giving, like, over a hundred experience before? Yeah. I'm at the point where they're only giving, like, 30, and I bet you it's down, like, 26 by now. Hmm. Simply because... 
Also, welcome to Rising Path 3, the only place you can get Bergen Ice. There they are. Congrats. They're stinky. Oh. Stinky little babies. Yeah, the nice thing is, knockback art. The guard art really good for just knocking stuff back. Theoretically, of course. Yeah, the important thing is, I've actually re I've actually optimized all my shit to just give me a bunch of life regen by default. The unfortunate part is, there's nowhere to actually, like, check the grand total of all your innate stats is, because... Like, the stuff that's applied directly to your character through leveling doesn't actually get counted in any of the menus. Oh, that's reason. lame. Yeah, like, I want to see if I have over 100 regen right now. Of course you make it. <laughs> Forget about that one. Yeah, they're not kidding about that armor, huh? Yeah, they're kind of a little tough right now. <laughs> Not that bad, but yeah, definitely a lot more involved. They're also not worth that much experience, honestly. <laughs> well, that's why we've got McKedenville for his 420 experience. Nice. I don't think it's 420, but that's what I remember, so that's what it is. If it's not, it should be. Yeah. You got rid of all them dirty frobbits already? Great, you really helped us out here. We would have fallen behind with our mining operation otherwise. Because you see, we've actually been walking all the way down the mountain to go mining. Because it turns out the temple fucking hates us. Here, take your reward. Yeah, Metal Gears. Yeah, it's just 300, but like, Aww. that's a solid amount. Yeah, I think once we do the actual temple, the second round of side quests will unlock. That makes sense. Thanks for the water. Alright, race time! Let's see who can beat Emily first. <laughs> Alright then. Here comes a big one, Leia. I think we're ready, no? Should we enter the dungeon? Alright, let the race begin! Hell Honestly, yeah! Like, I, like, I'm gonna try to go fairly quickly, but I am actually just going to... I am going to try and... I'm gonna go out of my way to get, like, all the stuff the game was talking about earlier. Yeah, that's fair. If we beat her, we beat her. But for now, I'm looking for the stuff, because the stuff is important. Also, yes, ice. You gotta get stuff and things. We gotta get those skill points. Oh yeah, nice thing about this game. Every distinct element... Okay, so even though I spent all my skill points... Ah, what am I trying to say? Skill points are not universal. Or, er, they're not specific, I mean. If I use a bunch <laughs> of skill... Yeah, weird phrase, I messed that up, something fierce. But anyway... Is it... No, I guess it goes over here. Yeah. Basically, skill points are applied to each element individually. If that makes any sense. Okay. Yeah, like... Once we get heat, all the skill points I spent... All the skill points I put into... Yeah, basically all your skill points are available for everything. And if you have, like... So if you have five skill points in one thing, five skill points in another thing, you got five skill points in everything. Is... Okay. That's a shit explanation, you know it, babe. <laughs> Listen, I'm doing my best. <laughs> right. 
Anyway, everyone loves a good old sliding block puzzle. Yeah, everyone's favorite. Yeah. But yeah, basically what that means is we just don't need to actually hoard skill points for specific elements. We can just spend okay. as much as we want whenever we want, because that's how this works. Ah. That's useful. Good puzzles. Let's go. Really just loving that music, huh? It's good. It's good music. All right, I've got to shoot the I've got to shoot the door with a key. <laughs> Obviously. Ow. All right. <laughs> How does this work then? So I need to bounce it into there, which means we're going to. Put this over here. And that doesn't do anything for me, actually. Okay. Huh. Mm -hmm. So we need to hit all these. We need, and we can use these four blocks, which means the thing I should hit last is this one. All right. And I have two starting points I can use, so we got to use this one first. That way, I can... No, okay, I think we got it now. Theoretically, of course. <laughs> Alright, what does this give us so far? Swing and a miss. Yeah, you gotta block it so that it hits the that one. Yeah, I just need to, like, double-check my math there. Yeah, got it now. I was having a hard time visualizing whatever the fuck I was doing. <laughs> These blocks should be a little more clear to look at, you know? Yeah, like, this is one of the things where having a set grid would probably help. Yeah. Okay, so the stuff is back here. We don't need to do all the hunting right now, but, you know. Otherwise, I'll just have to no, come back fun. later. But first, fight! Oh, hell yeah! Yeah, it's not that bad. We're, we're higher level than this thing. God, I remember this thing being a pain to fight when I first came here, because they didn't do all the side quests and stuff. Like oh tank... yeah, I'd imagine that sucked. Yeah. So what's up next? Ah, we've unlocked the elevator. You hit. Jerk. This is a pretty big dungeon. I mean, yeah, there's only five of these, technically. Hmm. Alright, what have we got? Now, like, it's not the biggest, biggest, but, you know. They're decent. I mean, four floors is pretty hefty for a first one. Yeah, I think some of the floors are smaller than those, but like, there's bit, like, there's a lot of dungeon in this video game. <laughs> All right, let's see then. I need to bounce this into that one. Bounce. No, do I need to? No, it's this one. Look, I thought maybe it would slide, but actually I need to 
Oh, that's nice. They add little aim assist on this bomb, so you don't have to hit them at like a really super specific point. That's helpful. Ah, whatever. Clearly, there's a way to do that. Yeah, whatever. like there's obviously something. Yeah, like I can just come back for these for the equipment later. It doesn't matter that much. Oh, it's you. Orb. The ball. <laughs> the U. <laughs> that mask doesn't know how bombs work. <laughs> All right, both of you hit me. And definitely do not approach. Well, you know, I got my clean, so I'm happy. Yeah, I don't even need to break these guys, actually. <laughs> Sorry, I'm used to coming in here at a lower level where I can't just brute force this stuff. Yeah, that's fair. But now You're I can simply good at video games. Oh yeah, that's definitely how I'm supposed to do it. I was just flubbing my bomb input. <laughs> Ah, oh, well, here's hoping we actually beat Emily. We might. I mean, you're making decent enough time, I would think. Theoretically, I have no idea what these timers are. Alright, we can now change tracks. I'll just come back to that thing later. <laughs> Alright, let's see then. Well, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Don't know why I think that, though. Oh boy, these oh, things. Oh fuck. These guys. Oh shit. Oh my god, these ah, guys. Ah damn. You basically. Again! Overleveled. That's super nice. These things. Oh my god. Imagine finding these things when basically all you can do is bomb them because they have, you know, 69 defense. Good for them! God, I can't wait to unlock the second tier of stuff, but we need to we need to beat the dungeon to get level 2 combat arts in. You know, I'd be curious if, like, the time to actually beat Emily was adjusted based on her level, too. Because she levels with you. I mean, that would make sense, probably. That'd be immensely mean, but theoretically possible. Alright, so we got the one key, so let's go this way now. May need to grab the second key from the next area, but whatever. Hmm. Oh boy. Welcome to Baum. <laughs> Bomb platforming. Babe. What? <laughs> Is a girl not entitled to the dumb of her ass? <laughs> Yeah, one key for me. Ah. I still find it kind of funny how you're supposed to shoot the key at these things. Yeah, it's cool and good. Very goofy. As it should be. Alright, we wanted the alternate track. No, we did not. <laughs> it's 
Excuse me for not using the extended camera like the genius would. How dare you not be a pro at this video game? Oh, thank god I can break those. Hey, buddy! Open the door! Hey, friend! <laughs> Open up! Perfect. I win. Me specifically. <laughs> you did it! You beat the game! Alright, let's see. Probably can't jump over that, if we're being honest, so I need to break my way in. Simple. Of course, of course. I think it'd be incredibly funny if you could just, like, hop the fence. Uh... I bet you that blue guy could. <laughs> Hello! Oh, nice! Ooh! What, good design? <laughs> reverse secure- Reverse secure chan really doing it for ya? It's- It's really good. It reminds me of the robots from the Club Penguin DS games. Right, I gotta smack him in the back of the head. <laughs> Have fun there, babe. I'm enjoying this robot immensely. Ah, right, just use the multi-art. That's, that's the way to do it. Bye. That's that guy handled, and we've unlocked two more things. Hey, Leia. How's it going? Ah, uh, I just need to show up for you. This dungeon is pretty long, no? By the way, you did see them too, right? You know. Them. She's talking about you, Ash. Oh, fuck! The bugs. She's talking about you, Ash. <laughs> God, I hate those things! I mean, they are huge! But also quick and twitchy, and there are just so many of them. Babe, I think we found you. I can't believe they put me in the video game. Yeah, I really don't like bugs. Pardon. I guess I just felt like talking about it. Anyway, those things will not stop. The race is still on! <laughs> Listen, if I was playing this game in real life, it would not matter if it was a cool other planet MMO world. If I see shitty bug enemies that I have to go through to progress, I am putting the game down. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright. I'm seeing. Well, we can't do that. They don't actually have that. Anymore. So, let's at least get the shortcut in. You. Okay, so the ice isn't that bad in this game. Yeah, like, it's ice physics, but it doesn't seem awful. And if you really hate the ice physics, you can always trade for, like, an equipment piece that turns off ice physics. Oh, boy. Did anyone say a fight? Hell yeah. Did anyone say... BOMBS? <laughs> BOMBS? Honestly, if you break an enemy, your best bet's just to use the multi-hit art. Because every attack's multiplied. Hell, I think there might be a flat bonus too. Aww. Who knows, but for now that's all we can do here. They don't actually have ice. Or fire yet. I will, though, eventually. <laughs> you're, you're working on it. I swear, breaking must add, like, a flat amount of damage on top of the damage multiplier, too. 
Yeah. Baby's first, Baby's first ice attack. Baby's first fire. See, that's what I thought the ice would do in that last area. Yeah, that's fair. You! Derogatory! Get out of here! I'm sure if I just went for a perfect parry, those things would break. But, like, derogatory. Alright, let's be on. Take this furry cap. Is that better than what I already have? Uh, eh, not really. It gives ice resistance, but that's about it. Ice resistance and defense, but like, I don't need, I don't need health, I need damage. <laughs> yeah, these puzzles are going to be so much easier once we get fire elements for, you know, reasons. Of course, of course. Can I? Yes. Cool. Nice. Now, all I have to do... Holy shit. Call that the fucking trick shot. <laughs> oh, right, I should probably get this laser TNT. You know, while you have it. I wonder if I just fell down right here. I would be impressed and amazed. Uh Oh boy. Welcome to puzzle time. Bombs. Oh wait a sec, I'm stupid. You Gib. Sir, a bomb, please. Kind of thing. There's gotta be some way to goad him to actually using explosives with these fire element things, or perhaps they're just to help me hit him with bombs occasionally. You. All right. Once more, Monsieur. Bombs, bombs, please, sir. Eh, close enough. Barely. Oh, no. <laughs> now you die. See? Die. Later, loser. Jerk. Wait, was there more in this room, or...? There was, like, another chest, but it had a lock on it. Right, yeah, we gotta do more of the dungeon before we get the bronze key. Alright. Yeah, we only have two keys, so I'd rather do that all at once, just because. That's fair. Yeah, video games are good, actually. Oh, come on. Oh, boo! Oh boy, this. Trick shot time! Unfortunately, you can only trick shot three times. Yeah, you can only bounce something three times before it goes away, so. Simply hellish. Pass away. Alright, so I need to hit that one more time. And in order to do that, I need the trick shot of the trickery. <laughs> you need to have the most trick shot. Now, make that a bit tighter. A bit fatter. There we go. Physics. They work! An abomination on this land.
That's probably enough. No, it is not. Incorrect. <laughs> Dave, you probably need to, yeah, go from a different angle. I was trying to see if I could be fancy and lazy. <laughs> there we go. All oh, right, I gotta fill up the botanical guide for here, too. Thank you to, thank you to Ice Physics. <laughs> Shout out to Ice Physics. Truly, the most <laughs> physic. Oh you boy! Know everyone loves Ice Physics. Yes. Boss fight. Dumbass. Bye. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I misclicked. How dare you! Run reset! Alright. Eh, good enough. Look, I'm sorry. You have to have some momentum going into these jumps. Just a little, uh. Also, you do keep just missing. Yes, unfortunately, that's six pixels, huh? <laughs> oh, hello. Ow! Don't worry, they're weak to fire. Like, ridiculously weak to fire. As in 400% weak be. to fire. Shout out to this one specific combat art that's just really good for these guys. Honestly, just give me bombs at this point. There's so many of them. <laughs> Perish. All right, what do I get? The key. <laughs> All right, let's go. Perfect. Exactly what I meant to do. Of course. All right. So what's behind this? Please tell me it's the fire element. Oh hell yeah, it's the fire element. Mini got boss. another funny robot! Oh, and a fuck ton of bugs. Oh! Bastard bot right there. Holy shit. Bugs, get out. It's probably easier just to break the bugs than this actually shoot through this guy. Probably, who knows? Maybe I should actually try hitting him for once. Wouldn't that be nice? All right, buddy. How do you feel about the bees? <laughs> Those bees I'm certainly afflicting you with. All right, bugs again. Sora, it's Digmo, they put bugs in them. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's a fun one. This 
guy's having a good time, isn't he? Yeah, he's just vibing. Bitch. Oh no, it's definitely easier to just rush him. What the fuck was I thinking? Imagine using strategy. Just go crazy. Go crazy, just go stupid. Just hit stuff. Ow. Well, that could have been a little more elegant, but whatever. Infected did <laughs> mode down, and y'all know what that means. Level 21. Nice. Also... Fire! Nice! Yeah. So each CP pool is actually tracked independently. Oh right, he votes three for some reason. No, I'm good. Elements of overloads basically if you use one if you use an element too much, it burns out and you can't use it for a bit. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I know Fire World's probably the better one. But I wanna see what the flame job looks like, because it's been a while. <laughs> Next up we also have Yeah, funny thing about the elements, there's ac they actually have their own benefits and disadvantages. Fire, for example, doesn't really have that many throw arts in it. Hmm. Every quote trump, it sounds kind of funny. <laughs> Such because I guess it's an SP gauge, so hey. Heat resistance. Why on earth would I make a mine? Crimson strike all the way. Also, yeah, you definitely want cold armor as much as possible, because guess what? Because it turns out you're weaker to X element when you have Y element on. Imagine that! And we'll take burn as well. Because that gives me another cold armor and some percent defense, so why not? After that, some attack and some more defense, I suppose. Because that gives me brawler afterwards. Yeah, let's see. Is that flame jab? That's underwhelming. Alright. So, I guess we just back... Right, yeah, because we gotta go to basement 3. But yeah, definitely gotta swap out flame jab, because, like, that was underwhelming, wasn't it? <laughs> just a tad. Would you rather be a whirling fire... Would you rather be a flame whirly gig, or, uh, that? Oh, you know. Alright, what have we got? Rockets. Team Rockets. Right, I think I understand how this one works. It's mildly goofy is all I'm going to say. Now, if only I could actually move like a human being would. You. Now, if I've got this right, I should now be able to just... Nope. How's this one work again? I may be stupid. Oh no, I got it, I got it, I got it. I think. What am I doing? Doing something, that's for sure. I need to immediately turn off fire so I can put this bomb over here. Well, that didn't work. Immediately turn off fire so I can put this bomb just on this, you know, like it, like I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I'm glad they just immediately give you a bomb puzzle. Yeah, as we deserve. So, if I just... Oh, that didn't work. What am I thinking specifically? Because I'm not going to be able to make it back and forth in that time. And that's certainly not going to do it. I'll simply perish, I suppose. 
Let's see. Perish. Oh, cool. They've got equipment here. Okay, let me think. Nope. No, that just detonates it. What am I thinking of? <laughs> I just not I just knock it up the stairs. That's what I'm supposed to do. Of course. Standing of course. Move. That right there is why I'm the best boss. <laughs> So I can't just hit so I can't just hit it with fire in order to make it rocket, because that just detonates it. Yeah, I've got this right. Right. My brain is not big enough for this one, babe. <laughs> Like I should yeah, be able... it gets stuck in that dead zone, but if you can just like... There we go. There you go. It was just exploding because I kept hitting it into the wall immediately. I guess. Yeah, that'll do it. Right. My brain was big enough. Also, check out my health. Nice. Wait, it's the combat arena. They put these fuckers in it. <laughs> Jerk. For some reason, I confused and thought, like, that little thing in the jig I'm standing on was Leia. Yeah, of course, it is. Oh shit, a Digmo. But yeah, basically, if I want my. Big boy! If I want my elements to unheat, I need to do damage in my stamp form. Yeah. Dirk. Alright. Ooh, the bronze key! The thief's key! Nice. We can now unlock chests in video games. You nice. Know, those video game chests. <laughs> All right. So the goal here is to construct an obstacle course by which I may traverse the arena. I definitely saying words, babe. I promise. You're saying so many funny syllables right now, babe. So many of them. <laughs> yeah, I basically just need to be able to jump, you know? <laughs> jump. Derogatory. <laughs> there, babe. That's your... That's your dumb giggle of the day. Don't waste it. F finally! Finally. Dumb derogatory. Right, so I guess I just... Well, I guess I'll just grab both of these then. God dang it. Oh! <laughs> Babe, now you've really done it! Uh, right, I think we knock that one over, so I can knock this one back here, and that should be jumpable, theoretically. <laughs> so 
This game has puzzles, you know? Yeah, and the puzzles are jump. God, I can't wait until you see literally the final puzzle, because it's... It sure is something. <laughs> like, the puzzle room is as big as... is bigger than some boss arenas. I'll give you that. Goodness. Yeah. Alright, I need to put a box there. Ah. Of oh. course, a slider puzzle. Oh, block pushing puzzles, my fucking beloved. <laughs> you just gotta think with your huge brain. Yeah, yeah, my bit. My enormous brain, sorry. I'm just thinking, I'm still. I'm just kind of thinking of that one thing in a JRPG that absolutely sucked for no discernible reason. <laughs> Everyone knows what I'm talking about. I don't. See? Everyone. <laughs> Alright, I can get these four out. Except I need to get that third one out. Okay, how does this work? Oh no. Do you? Can you not just push the last one? Nah, last one doesn't work. Thankfully, I may be stupid. I may be stupid. Ah. <laughs> uh, well, I hope I don't need to reset this puzzle, because that'd be annoying. Yeah, that'd suck. Oh, wait, I can just do this. You know, like a gamer would. <laughs> Alright. I do sincerely hope this was actually the thing. Oh, God. What is this? What am I looking at currently? A puzzle. The puzzle of the gamer. <laughs> Alright, so next I need to knock it over here, so I can knock it over there. So I can knock it over here, so I can knock it over there. I said so I can knock it over there. Fine, I guess I'll just have to do this this way. Alright, now I can leave. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, you've unlocked leaving privileges. Exactly, babe. Probably need fire this. Fire theoretical, of course. See? Oh, bye! <laughs> I, for I forgot Leia was too tall for that. She's too tall for the kitty rides. She's gotta leave. See? <laughs> uh, the worst part is I can just jump off of it. I just haven't been because... Here. Don't you dare go that way. Dick. I'm very smart, you see? Of course. Because I can do this now. And this time I won't be dumb. <laughs> this time you won't lose it. Oh, cool. Well, guess what, everyone? It's time for a combat arena. Hell yeah. Hello. Oh, no. Totally normal. See? Totally normal. There's bugs in it. God, it's so nice to just rip and tear through these things with fire. Yeah, the throw art's... Not throw art's really only decent for inflicting the burn status. You know, shockingly enough, a flamethrower is good at flaming, and that's about it. Also, I'm taking this laser pickaxe. We definitely missed some items, but that's whatever. Wait. Right, we don't have the thing yet. You know, the thing. 
Oh god, they come back. <laughs> How... Okay, this is an interesting one. I need to open up the primary path by doing secondary paths. Theoretical. Mm -hmm. Right, what's this way? Oh, jeez. Right, okay, I think I know how this one works. I know how it works, I don't know how to execute it properly. <laughs> Got it! Dirk. The game, they put bugs in it. <laughs> Mickey, it's video games. They put bugs in it. Still just the most line of all time, you know? <laughs> like, I hope I never get context for whatever the fuck is going on with that line specifically. God, regenerating ice, huh? Alright, let's check out what the left path has, because I'm assuming it has stuff on it, you know? One could help. Jerk. Oh, thank you, Oppie oh. Gilders. <laughs> That's the one fetch quest in this game that auto completes itself for some reason. As it should. Alright, welcome to the trial of the gamer. God. See? The trial of the true gamer. <laughs> You're so skilled, babe. <laughs> You're so cool and skilled. Hey, aren't they just the most talented person in existence? Yes. I definitely didn't love. I definitely never flubbed jumps, ever. You've never done anything wrong, and you're so cool and good at video games. This would be a lot less embarrassing if I'd gotten those anti-ice physics boots. <laughs> but it's cool, though. You're, you're playing the game the way it's intended. Like, like plummeting off a cliff. Exactly. Bye. Can I, can I even make this jump? I should. I should be Pres able to. Presumably. I just need to build up enough speed. See? That definitely wasn't super underwhelming or anything. No. No. Of course not. Oh. <laughs> and don't you just love jumping in video games? Isn't it just the best, always? J jumping is always so cool and good. There. Now I can go this way. I was not holding the button. <laughs> okay, do not fall off like a dumbass. More. No, I think you should. I think it's so cool and fun. Babe. <laughs> I love chaos and violence. I'm so evil. Chaos and violence and ice physics. <laughs> the three girl bosses of war. <laughs> Well, I guess you'll always laugh for a girl boss then, huh? Listen, the girl bosses stay winning. I'm so glad those bugs just die. As they should. Yeah, you know, they're having a cool fun time. See? Oh, this one's precise. It's not precise, I'm just stupid. 
Oh, okay. It's very precise if you're smart, okay? <laughs> God, imagine being good at video games, babe. I can't. I can't fucking relate. Uh, I hope this is just their brand on Twitch. <laughs> what, being terrible at video games? Being dumb fucking gay people? I've never gotten back here before, what the fuck? Secret area. I think I'm just dumb, actually. Fucking 14 attack, my god. Yeah, you can Yeah, you can just skip so much of this area, jeez. Presumably so you can beat Emily. So that's key one. Do we only need one of those keys? Bugs everywhere! In all the rooms! Below rocks, inside eggs? On freaking tiny icy platforms? Why would they do this to me? Sakura <laughs> Buu, this dungeon is the worst. Anyway, race, still on. Not gonna give up. Lesbians stay winning, honestly. <laughs> okay, so we definitely needed that one. What have we got? Oh god, we're gonna. Welcome to Key We're Town. We're gonna have to come back, because this room has two key locks. And we've got one key. Wait, didn't I pick up key earlier? What? Did I... Is there a map for this place? Oh, I see. I missed... God damn it. <laughs> I didn't realize I'd missed the keys back there. I just wanted to grab... I just wanted to grab the third one, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Yeah, no, I just missed these. Okay. <laughs> just didn't even do it. Didn't even realize. I'm not sure I could just, like, grab and drag this for no reason. It would be nice. Wouldn't it be nice if I was smarter? <laughs> then I wouldn't do this fucking backwards. No, seriously, what am I... Gonna reset... Oh, see, I'm very smart. Gonna reset this puzzle real quick. Alright, let's see then. Now I can knock this one over. And I will simply knock this in here. I can be smart. Theoretically. <laughs> Theoret What am I doing? I don't know. I can just get I don't know off what of you're it. doing. My brain was stuck on do the bounce. <laughs> Now I get to reset the puzzle, because I didn't jump back on the platform. Yeah, we're definitely gonna beat the French girl today. Oh, totally. We're going so fast and cool and good. Alright, that's bomb one. Now this time, jump on the platform, dumbass. And now I can make my way back here. Perfect. Bye. Look, I can do video games. There! Ugh. 
the bombs do not agree with me, babe. As I'm sure you know. Apparently noticed. not, no. Stupid. Huh. Bet you I am. I bet you there's a secret wall back there. Congration. So all I have to do is blow up all the bugs. <laughs> Simple. Well, may as well get on to it. We're definitely not beating French Girl today. Oh, nope. But what if we did, though? We won't. Isn't it just cool and fun how video games exist? <laughs> ah. Oh. There. I'm glad you can move this until until you're stepping on ice. At which point it becomes impossible. <laughs> Perish. Oh well, at least they're all having a good time and me being good at platforming. And how long have we been going for anyway? A while, I'm definitely stream's been going for an hour and a half. Oh. Well, the good thing is we should be coming to the end of it. We should be coming to the end of the dungeon, at which point we can cut it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Now, what's my reward? Where's the last rock? There it is. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, this room is just dark enough that my brain is having a hard time processing it. Thank you, video games. Very cool. Oh, great. Thank you, video games. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, the ice and the bombs definitely do not agree with my brain today. Yeah, apparently not. Oh, well. We got old shoes. <laughs> Holy shit, these are good shoes. Yeah, we can now leave. And never come back. Ever. <laughs> yeah, that, that that little diversion definitely cost us the race, but hey. Alright, let's see then. So, I need to... First off, I need to figure out what the heck this thing's doing here. I see. It's doing nothing. It is simply being in the way. Oh. Well, at least the music's good, huh? Yeah, it's good. Alright, so what are we doing here? Oh, right, they lose their element once since they're a key thing. Okay, okay, okay. Dang it. Like, can you not just unlock it by shooting it from the middle? Good point, babe. Why am I not doing that? Yeah, like, you're doing a whole puzzle, but you can't even access all the parts yet. Babe, I'm a pro gamer. What do you expect from me? <laughs> ah. 
Alright, so, we bounce it down into here, it comes over here, we knock it. As soon as I can, as soon as I get this correct. Over here, and then over here, and then over... Back over here. We knock this over here, we knock it over here, we hit it over this way. This is a lot of convoluted steps, considering I skipped the step entirely. Now we knock this down here, and I simply perish. Ooh. -woo. <laughs> Oh no, I got it, I got it, I got it. It's all about them sliding block puzzles, huh? They're just all the rage, ain't they? <laughs> Alright. So that's that set done. Am I missing something around here? Probably. In fact, I very much... Oh my god. Ah, well, let's just see what this gets us so far. Yeah, that's half of them, but we're missing the other half. Don't you just love convoluted puzzles? All right, <laughs> what does that get us? Hmm. Yeah, because that with that one, it just sends it it's a little... into like a wall. The problem is, it's too. It needs to be a block lower, I think. Or perhaps I'm stupid. Did you ever think of that? <laughs> uh, sorry, my brain keeps going, no, you gotta be standing on the key thing, but no, that was just to unlock half the puzzle. Alright, we can now begin. Jeez. <laughs> There we go! Yes! That took way too much time. It sure did. She definitely won off of that. Ooh. So, do you see yourself playing this video game in the future? I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Well, as long as you can stand these fleas, huh? I mean, here's the thing, is that, like, from this perspective, the bugs aren't that bad because they're little cartoony things. If I was playing the full-dive VR MMO planet, I would simply pass away. I accidentally pushed myself into overload, so... God, that's satisfying to listen to. <laughs> I'm sorry, who's trying to snipe me right now? Oh, you know, the bugs. <laughs> the bugs. The bugs they put in the game. Those bugs. <laughs> yes, of course. Alright. I'll definitely just do a sweep for equipment later. You know, one last fall for good luck, huh? Because now it's time for the boss. Yeah. 
Yeah, we were making good time until that final floor happened, huh? Yeah, and then we just... Perish. ...got ground to a halt. Yeah. There he is! Ooh. Big Boy Supreme! Oh. The XLY Driller HFS. Yes! Ow. Ah, right, I need to bomb him. You know, like a genius would. Attack! Kill! Bench. Guess what? You left the bomb here for me! Hey, idiot! <laughs> Check this shit out! Let me just headbutt everything, actually. <laughs> oh, dang it, shield came back. Buddy, you got more bombs for me? Look at all these bombs that are absolutely going to So set on many fire. bombs. Oi, no crotch guarding. <laughs> are those guys? Apparently, those bombs go for you if he detonates them. Come on! All right, Driller defeated. Woo! Yeehaw! Uh, well, you know what? Oh, goddamn, we got leaked credits from that. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> uh, gee, yeah. No wonder the temple didn't like these guys. They had like six of those in there. Jesus. Holy shit, we beat her? How? <laughs> Emily, how bad do you have to be at this fucking game? <laughs> hey, she was trying to get over a fear of bugs, okay? <laughs> you know what? Fair enough, but holy shit, that time was generous. Ugh, oh, you're first. You got me this time. I blame those bugs, we. Seriously, what was up that battle for the Master Key? It's like they designed this dungeon after my worst nightmares. Oh well, I'll get you next time. Hmm, but this room is strange, no? I didn't expect to see other players within the dungeon. I guess rooms like these are simply not instanced. Anyway, I think we should check out the statue up there. Welcome to space. These mountains stood for eons, nearly unchanged. Their frozen crowns shimmering in the sun. Among these heights and hurdles you persevered. Wielding the blazing flames, you cleaved through ice and stone alike. You, the traveler, the envoy of change, that dude from destiny no one likes. You have proven <laughs> yourself worthy. Take the shade and continue on your journey. You can now use level 2 combat arts.
Nice. Let your every step form the path of your ground. Congratulations, Seeker! You reached oh, the first hey, milestone of Operation Trackwalker. With the blue eye shade, you can now access Maroon Valley to the west of Bergen. I hear some people call it Macaron Valley. I think I just made that up, actually. <laughs> Therein awaits your next destination, the Fajro Temple, housing the second element, cold. To proceed, seek an audience with the elders of the local village, Bakikum. Take this reward for your accomplishments. One circuit override, in case you overspect in one direction. The circuit override allows you to reset one of your circuit boards. This is the first basement floor of the info hub in Rookie Harbor to use it. That is all. Good luck and stay vigilant. Bad people. Bad people in space. So that's the ancients? Fair enough. My laws. Do you see those rotating info thingies? I bet those have all the info but the ancients we need. Don't forget about the quiz. Yeah, now we get to do ancient you quiz. Oh, fuck. But yeah, we can now progress to our level 2 combat arts. Woo! Yeah. Fun fact, the central circuit... Your basic non-elemental circuit can only do the can only do level two combat arts. Mm. God, I wish we had enough points for final showdown, because that's just kind of goofy looking. <laughs> yeah, we can't actually get the fire level twos though, because we need the fire shade, which we get for beating the ice dungeon. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, everyone. This has been CrossCode. This is going to be our only CrossCode stream of the week, because someone's getting married. It's neither of us, but hey. <laughs> yeah. Someone adjacent to us is getting married, which means one of us needs to travel. Yeah, our pet cat specifically. Yes, of course. <laughs> our pet cat's fucking adopted brother dog is getting married. What the fuck am I saying, actually? Okay. I don't know. I think you're unhinged. The energy of this stream has been so fucking weird. Ah. Uh, I've been up since two working at a fucking store. Of course I'm unhinged. I'm making minimum wage. God. Yeah. Alright. That was fun, though. I'm... Yeah. I kind of want to look up what the time for the for beating Emily is. It's like, wow. Like, we spent like a fucking hour in that dungeon. Yeah. Like, we missed- like, we did miss the time for the tutorial dungeon, technically. Yeah. Uh, also, I should absolutely set up our art plug on this thing, but whatever. <laughs> Let's see. Cross code mine dungeon time. The timer is, in fact, not immediately stated on this. That's annoying. I actually have to look at the wiki. Shout out to this incredibly. Shout out to this just riveting conclusion to the stream, huh? It we're ended on a high note, I'll have you know. Yeah, we're ending on a high note. You don't get any audio now. You just have this. Perish. <laughs> Simply perish. <laughs> Pass away. Right, you know what? No one gets to know the time. Have a good day and goodbye, everyone. This bit's been going on for too long. Bye!